Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's video. It's a little bit of a different one for me, and quite frankly, it is a little bit of a difficult one for me as well. Here's a bit of a disclaimer. If you are triggered by talking about weight or weight loss or body image or anything like that, then this video isn't for you. But I did want to vlog this video for myself and maybe to encourage those of you who might be struggling with the same things that I'm currently struggling with. It's difficult for me to be vulnerable in this way. Like I can talk about my feelings all day long. You guys know that when my husband and I separated, I made an almost hour long video talking about our separation and how I heal from that. But talking about my body image and how I currently feel about it is actually really difficult for me right now. I haven't always struggled with weight, but as I've gotten older, I've found it consistently more and more difficult to keep the weight off. Like I know I'm not overweight, but I know for 100% sure I'm not as fit or as healthy as I used to be. Now this video isn't going to be like my weight, weight loss journey, I suppose. What I'm really doing with this video is my first step towards actually making a change because when I feel really bad about myself, I don't wanna just sit in that funk and just keep feeling bad about myself. I wanna actually do something about it. I'm someone who likes to take action to change things I'm, I'm not happy about. For the last several months, I've been feeling very, not insecure, but maybe a little bit insecure about my body. I used to train eight hours a week in ballroom dancing, and on top of that, do two hours of Zumba every single week. And so as you could imagine, I was a very trim, very fit, very strong little person. And now I'm a little person that doesn't feel very strong. I don't feel fit, I don't feel healthy. And that translates into my mind not being in the best place that it's ever been in my life. So the purpose of this video is I want to take the first step towards changing and just losing enough weight to make me feel confident about my body again. So I found this video on YouTube and I'm gonna leave it linked down below or in the info card up here if you guys want to check it out. I found this video where you do seven minutes a day and almost high intensity workout for seven days. But what I want to do is push myself a little bit further, do this seven minute workout routine twice. So it's a 14 minute workout for myself for seven days. And I want to vlog the process simply because, first of all, I don't enjoy working out, which is probably why I got to this point myself. I, I enjoy working out in a group form like Zumba or dancing where there's other people around me. But of course, in this current world that we live in, that's just not possible. And I've come to a point where I'm tired of waiting around for something to happen when nothing's gonna happen because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so for me, I know if I'm vlogging this video, I have more of a chance of sticking to it. I'm currently on my second week of three weeks annual leave. I thought what's a better time to do a seven-day challenge than now because I haven't got the demands of a very physically demanding job on me right now I want to do something with it and I'll do something for me and I want to change how I'm feeling about myself I don't know why I'm crying <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you guys a profile shot I want to show you exactly what I look like I think for me my areas of insecurity is definitely my tummy I found it very difficult to lose weight in my tummy I want to lose kind of the roundness in my face I want a bit more definition and I know my body when I do actually work out and lose weight one of the first places that I lose weight is my face so I know that, well, hopefully <laughs> I will see the difference in my face. And a lot of that comes from the food that I eat as well. I wanna lose or get more toned in my arms. Like my arms aren't the fattest. I just have really big arms because of my job. I'm a chef and it requires a lot of lifting and mixing and like strength in the arms. So I do wanna tone my arms, but probably my biggest areas of concern are losing weight in my face and my tummy. Hopefully by the end of seven days it will look different. So if you guys want to watch this vlog, thank you so much for watching through this introduction. Hopefully I can edit it down to a watchable length. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for joining me here on this journey. Hopefully I can stay accountable to you and hopefully I'll see some results and I'll feel better both physically and mentally by the end of this seven days. I'm going to show you guys a profile shot and then I'm going to start with this seven minute workout times two. So our 14 minute workout, and I'm gonna do that every single day for seven days, and uh, we'll see where that takes me.
was absolutely brutal. I'm shaking and I already feel like giving up, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I actually threw up at one point there. Um, I've got this tape measure because the video recommended that I measure around the narrowest part of my waist and the widest part of my hips. And then I suppose at the end of seven days, I'll see if I lost anything. So my waist, just over 30 inches and my hips are at 34 inches. I think the last time I measured was seven years ago and I think I was like 24 and 32, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I was skinny little mini back then, but I don't even want to go back to that really. I just want to go back to feeling healthy and confident about myself. Hopefully I uh, stick to it and by the end of this video, hopefully I'll see some results. So that's day one. I'll see you guys on day two. So tonight's dinner is Atlantic salmon, fresh cucumber, Lebanese rice with the Greek yogurt. Trying to eat less bad food and just food that'll sustain my body and fill me at the same time. And it's really tasty and delicious. And I'm a chef, so it will be tasty and delicious. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of this seven day challenge. I am still actually really so sore from yesterday. And yesterday was brutal, but that's because it was day one. Day two, is a whole new day and I'm still carrying the ache from yesterday, but I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Let's do it. like the smallest part of my waist and the largest part of my hips. So I don't exactly remember how many inches it was the first time I measured, but I doubt I've lost much. My waist, just over 30 inches, and my hips are at 34 inches. I'm 30 inches around that part of my waist. My belly's 34. I don't remember what my measurements were when I started this video, but I don't think I've lost much, so let's just Let's just finish off this video. <laughs> okay, first of all, thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know if you could pick up at the beginning of this video, but I wasn't in the best of places. I'm getting there. I don't know where there is, but I'm getting there. And I feel like vlogging this process of working out every single day for seven days is a good step forward for me. I don't know if I lost weight. The measurements will show. I feel like my waist and tummy have gotten a little bit smaller. So here's a before and after clips of when I, on day one and day seven, just for a bit of a comparison, if I have lost weight at all. But I think the first step is actually starting. The first step for me, which is difficult, is actually taking the mental strength to get myself to work out every single day for seven days. And I wanted to give up on day one because it was difficult. And still up till now, I haven't, it's not a, oh, I found a newfound love for working out. No, I still don't enjoy it. 
because it hurts. It takes discipline and it takes the strength that I don't have to push through the pain. And it may not have looked like a intense workout. And I know, I think maybe at the beginning of this video, I said it was a high intensity workout and it can be if you make it to be. And it might not have looked like it, but I did push myself through all of that. That's the first step of, you know, a journey towards a healthy mind and a healthy body. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope in some way, shape or form, it was able to encourage or inspire or motivate you watching to take the first step towards the journey of a healthy mind and a healthy body and I don't know if it made any difference for me I feel like I lost a little bit of weight in my waist I still have this so I mean it goes to show that there is no instant fix for body image there's no instant fix for losing weight there's just it's a journey it's a process and that's what people don't tell you or maybe people do tell you but it's just taking this step forward for one day and the next day and the next day and pushing yourself and if you guys want to check out that video that I used to guide me through these seven days, I'm going to leave it linked up here or in the description box down below. Maybe maybe I did lose weight around my waist. Maybe I didn't. I have been eating more healthy through these last seven days as well. I don't know if there was really any visible results, but maybe there is a little bit of a step forward in my mind because it all I think it all starts in the in the psyche, in the mental. I think I will continue on working out. I didn't do just seven minutes, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. I did the seven minutes times two. So essentially I worked out for 14 minutes every single day for seven days and and still didn't see like phenomenal results. So it just goes to show again that there's no quick or instant fix to losing weight, especially belly weight. I feel like this is the hardest part for me to lose weight is in my belly. And you know what, that's okay. I'll just keep going. I think I will continue on working out every single day or when I can, um, but only for the seven minutes because I know that this is something that if you are consistent with, then you will see results. Not so much trying to cram in all the working out in seven days rather than being consistent every single day, if that makes any sense at all. So I guess the question is, can you lose weight in seven days? Well, yes, you can lose weight in seven days. I feel like I did, but it's not a phenomenal change. I think it's definitely something that needs to be done consistently every single day in order to see long lasting results. So I guess that's my takeaway from this seven day challenge. And you know guys, as far as body image goes, I'm still trying to get myself to a place where I'm happy with how I look. I used to be there. I used to be full of confidence. And you know, to some extent, I still do have some of that confidence. Otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here in a workout bra and you know, my mid waist showing. But I think when it comes to my body image in terms of how people that I actually care about see me, that is what really gets to me. If you're someone who has a family member or someone, a friend that makes you feel bad for how you look instead of encouraging you to do something about it, then that person doesn't really love you. Or maybe they do and they just didn't think about the words that they said and you need to approach them in a non-defensive way. Just say, hey, look, I know that you love me and I know that you care about me, but I'd really like it if you were a bit more kind and careful with the words that you say about the way I look. Because if the words of the person that you care about and that you love puts you down that much, imagine how encouraging their words would be on the other side of the spectrum if they just chose to be more kind and thoughtful in the way that they spoke to you. It's, it's a whole lot of things. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're triggered about body weight, body image, self-esteem, you know, maybe you shouldn't have watched this video. I just wanted to be open and honest and real and raw with you guys about me because this isn't a part of me at all that I show on my channel or my Instagram. Like every Instagram is about posting the pictures where you look like your best self. But honestly, this isn't my best self. Like I've got a belly, I've got texture on my face, I've got I've got patchy ass arms. I don't know why I've got I've got patchy skin on my arm. I've got rolls on my tummy. I've got kinks and dimples on my back and my thighs and all that. You know, these are things that people don't show. I think not letting myself go to a dark place in my mind is probably the biggest battle. So much more than losing the extra weight. And I think learning to love myself again.
I think learning to love myself and be kind to myself again is another huge thing. It's not just about losing weight. It's about being kind to myself and loving myself. So anyway, I'm gonna end the video here <laughs> before I turn into more of a mess. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate that you have chosen to spend your time here with me, that you've chosen to care enough about watching this video. <laughs> so thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Nick's, Nick's working out with me. Nick's made a makeshift pulley. Show him how it works, babe. There you go. <laughs> Check out his guns, watch this. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait. <laughs>